We begin in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, and we send our salam and salutations upon the final messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open our hearts that we may benefit this evening. I would like to begin by welcoming everybody to this evening's event. Tonight's talk is part of the MMU Islamic Awareness Week, which is an annual, an annual thing that we have in the ISAP, which is to call the Muslims and the non-Muslims towards Islam. This action-packed week is to give da'wah upon campus, which is packed with many activities, exhibitions, and much of da'wah material. Talking about the fun and games, the winner of the quiz will be announced during the talk. We will today be addressed by Sheikh Abu Osama al Dhahabi. Abu Osama. Abu Osama al Dhahabi has studied in the Islamic University of Medina where he graduated from the College of Da'wah and Usul al Din. Abu Osama is currently an Imam at Birmingham's Green Lane Masjid. You may see his talks on Islam channel, The Sunnah, The Better. Today's talk, the title has been changed to a topic which the Sheikh feels is more relevant to be addressed today. Without any further ado, we invite and welcome Abu Asama. First of all, we praise Allah as we get this uh, golden opportunity to come before all of you, my brothers and my sisters in Islam, to present this presentation. And we ask Him, Allah to put it in the mizan of all of our hasanat and and also we want to acknowledge the efforts of the brothers from the ISOC here at the university because traveling up and down the country and visiting the different masajid and the different universities I see that many times these programs and activities are left to be taken care of by only a few. The minority of the Muslims who are involved in the universities who want to encourage you all of you brothers and sisters to do your part in supporting the ISAP here. We are only in this university for a few number of years. The doors are always revolving. You come and you leave and that's it. And while you were here for the two, three, four years that you are here, you should try to leave a positive legacy, a positive impact for those people who are going to come after you in regards to what Islam is for the incoming students as well as for the non-Muslims. So I encourage all of them not to leave all of the work to the president, the vice president, the secretary of the ISA. The Muslim is not a passive participant. He is involved the best of his ability or her ability in the betterment of al-Islam being spread. The other thing is my brother, I don't even get, catch his name, he had a long sheet about this kalam about Sheikh Abu Usama. He traveled to Alaska. He did this, he did that. He invented the car and he did that. I told him, brother, take off the Sheikh because we want the people to start to realize the difference between a lecturer, the difference between the one who gives a Friday sermon, the difference between the individual who comes on Islam channel and the difference between the individual who writes here or there, between all of those people and the sheikh or the scholar, fortunately one of the biggest fitness that the Muslim community is facing right now is that we don't know the distinction between the sheikh, a scholar, and between the one who just has the ability to talk or is our local imam. It's a big problem. So I took his paper and I put lines through the vast majority of the things that were written and you have what you heard. So I'm just your brother 
Abu Usama. The other thing that my brother, what's your name out here? I do. Because we want interaction between them. I'm going to give you some money, inshallah, for the people who can remember what I talk about. There is going to be a, a, an award, a reward for those who pay attention. Because we're not here just to talk and to entertain. We want you to go away with some benefit. My brother Ali, Jazakallah Khaira, he also mentioned that the talk had been changed because Abu Usama deemed that the talk will be changed. No, I'll give the talk of what those brothers assigned to me, which is Al Islam, the universal religion. But from what I understood was that this hall, this lecture theater, was going to be packed, jam packed, with a lot of non Muslims. And the talk would have been geared towards them to show that Al Islam is the universal religion. So I'm not coming here to change the program. I told the brother before I began, I don't like talking standing up. I want to sit down. I don't want to come and act like a man who's a diva or anything like that. So I'm not changing anything. But I'll leave it up to you guys. If you want me to address the issue of Islam, the universal religion, I'll be more than happy to do so. But I told them it is my humble opinion, now that we have all Muslims here, everyone looks like he's a person of a Tawheed. I said, I think we should talk about something else, since it's all Muslims. Something that we can advise the brothers and the sisters with concerning the issues that they're dealing with in their personal lives and are pertinent to them right now. And they said, okay, you can change it if you want. So I'll leave it up to you brothers and you sisters. So with a show of your hands, if you don't mind, for the people who want to leave the lecture the way that those brothers assigned to me, al Islam, the universal religion, which was going to be geared towards non-Muslims, then can you please raise your right hand, good hand, your right hand. If that's what you want to hear, then no problem. So what's the choice? I'm about to tell you the other choice. <laughs> the second choice was the importance of giving the speaker money vis-a-vis -vis left. It's the second talk. Where I'm going to use ayahs and hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu to solicit money from you for my personal use. That's the second choice. How many people are interested in that? The second choice was concerning the issue of love and relationships in light of the Quran and the Sunnah. Love and relationships. What's going on in many of the universities up and down this country with what's taking place with the Muslim brothers and sisters, and also just generally speaking in terms of how do we express our love, not only for our relationships with people who are interested in and other than that. That was the talk that I thought that the people needed to hear. But that's my own personal opinion. So again, how many of you want to hear the first lecture that was assigned to me, but I'm not going to change as I'm not, I'm not a dictator. How many of you want to hear that first lecture with your right hands? Okay. The second lecture was concerning love and the proper relationship in light of the Quran and in light of the Sunnah. How many of you want to hear that really that talk? I told you, brother, it's something that is relevant to the people in your life. So that's what we want to talk about, inshallah. First thing that. Uh, we can address this, the universal baptism. Now, now. And this is why, uh, as the Prophet says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and Mu'min Mir'ah to Mu'min. The believer is a mirror to his brother, and the position of giving advice in the religion is extremely important to the degree that the Prophet.